back and I'm lighting up doing what the fuck I want. Just roll the wood, I'm feeling good, just me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back. That was the ugliest intro ever, but I am not gonna redo it because I'm so fucking excited. I usually sit here and redo my intros like 10 times, but I'm not gonna redo it because I'm just so excited and I'm so happy to be here doing my makeup. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy, you know. Every time I sit here and do my makeup, I just, I'm just 100% more motivated and like ready to just conquer the world and just do everything. So, yeah. Today I filmed a transformation video, just a little, um, transformation from what I was looking like. I even, I started the video with, um concealer on my face like I still had some concealer over here um or not still but I had put on some concealer over here just because I was looking real rough but I'm only gonna show that in the thumbnail like the thumbnail picture is me this morning and so this is definitely a little bit of a transformation from what I was looking like I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm so fucking happy to be in front of a camera, in front of delights, doing what I love to do, you know? So, yeah, if you want to see how I did this little transformation on myself from zero to like a seven, then just keep watching. <laughs> okay, so I think I've got it kind of figured out right now. So I finally got a mic. Shout out to Levy. She got me a mic for Christmas. So I hope the audio is a lot better. Um, the lighting in here is a whole lot better, like, you know, we're getting there, we are getting there. But, anyways, I just wanted to say, we're gonna go ahead and just start. So, I already did my eyebrows, and for the brows, I used the Precisely My Brow by Benefit, and this has been, like, my ride or die for a while now. I've been using this non-stop. So, lately, I've been mixing these two foundations right here. This is the, this one over here is the Maybelline Foundation. Maybelline 24 hour foundation, I don't know. And I'm uh, mixing it with the NARS uh, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Um, just because this one, the Maybelline one is a little too light for me. Oh no, no, no. The Maybelline one is a little too dark for me and this one's a little too light for me. So I just figured, perfect, you know? And ever since I've been mixing them, it makes my skin look really, really good. So I don't actually mix them. What I do is I'll just squirt the Maybelline one um, on my at the back of my hand and I'll just use that and I'll mainly just put it around like where you know like the main areas of my face um, yeah so really just like this whole bottom half of my face and I'll just kind of like buff this out a little bit I don't really touch my forehead with it because I my forehead's so freaking small that my forehead's so small that if I go in with this and then put more foundation on top of it, it's just gonna be oily, messy, not cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out a little bit. And once it's like semi blended into my skin, then I'll go ahead and just put the NARS one right on top. For the NARS one, I'm just gonna go ahead and just pump that right onto my brush because it's not like a whole lot that I'm using. It's literally just enough to kind of even out the color. So I just kind of do that everywhere. And then honestly, I feel like my forehead's really fucking small. Like I can't ever do anything without it like messing up my eyebrows. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend this out and mix them together. And then for concealer, I've been going back to this Tarte Shape Tape, but it's just, it just doesn't crease as much as any other one that I've tried, like even like my Maybelline one, it's super, super bomb, very like full coverage, same with um, the Makeup Revolution one, super full coverage, super bomb, there's just something about this concealer that 
doesn't like it just I don't know it's just the way like it the way it dries the um the way it wears like throughout the day I just I just I don't know I don't know it's just something about it you know like you just I don't know I'm waiting for another brand to finally come out with something as bomb as this cuz the Tarte Shade Tape is honestly a little fucking pricey you know like I'm really I don't want to pay to have to re-up on this all the time and pay what like almost $30 for this how much is it? I'm about to look it up let's see how much it really is cuz I might be going crazy yeah 27 fucking dollars yeah I could buy I could buy my favorite foundation with $27 okay why do I have to pay for that for a concealer that's like a third the size or probably less than that actually who knows I don't know by the way don't judge my nails I broke my real one this one won't come off I have my acrylic still on this one and it's not fucking coming off and it's so ugly but I broke two of my real nails like one of them little legit completely came off and then the other one is like halfway off so like it's still there but it just needs to grow for to me for me to put on acrylic back on it so yeah we're gonna have to give these nails just a little bit of a break a little bit of a break we had a little accident at work and that's why um that's why my nail came off so yeah and then I just I went to a different place for my nails this time and I feel like they just didn't put them on right or something I don't know you know because when you go to a new place they be fucking you up and then as you guys noticed I don't put my concealer up to my um like lower lash line anymore because I found that I crease a whole lot more if I do that so if I just put it right underneath and then blend it up into my um like really close to my lash line then it just it lasts longer, it looks better, and, you know, it just doesn't give you all those nasty, ugly-ass creases. I mean, they're still there for sure, but just not as much, you know? And then this Too Faced Concealer is my absolute favorite for creasing. It's definitely a little bit more yellow than the translucent than the Airspun one. So I went ahead and blended out like my um, my concealer up here. And this is the Morphe E8. I love this brush to blend out my concealer. And then for my under eye, I've been loving this brush over here. This is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. It's like amazing and absolutely perfect for blending out the concealer underneath the eyes. So yeah, if you want to do a good little makeup transformation, your brush might have a lot to do with it. So while this is baking, I'm going to go ahead and just do my eyeshadow. And my eyeshadow is not going to be nothing crazy. And for this, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette. It's the one from The Vault. And this one is Ring the Alarm. It looks like, like it is. So... Yeah, it looks a little bit different on here than it does in person. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of walk you guys through this. It's really not hard at all. Um, so catch up. Watch very closely. Okay. I'm going to grab the shade Framed, which is this one right here. Well, that one right there. Um, with the Morphe M330. And I'm picking up a good amount, dusting it off just, oh wait, bitch, what the fuck? So I have that on here, so what I'm going to do first is just throw that, this has really, really good pigmentation. The only thing is it's just a little hard to blend out. So I'm just going to keep building that up right over here. This brush is getting messy. And I'm kind of just blending as I go. This one is a little... This one's pretty hard to blend out, honestly. I haven't... I've never used this palette before. It's my first time using it. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to keep blending this out. 
So now that that has like some good pigmentation, we're gonna keep on blending this out, but I'm gonna go ahead now and grab this brush over here. It's a Glamour Dolls brush. It doesn't have a name. Um, I got it in my Ipsy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shade Alert, and that's this one right here, and I'm gonna put that right above that shade. So I'm gonna keep it very, very tight and very like literally probably just right on the edge over here and blend this upward I'm just gonna keep going to the left side sure and then I'm going to grab this brush. It was clean, but I used this to blend out the other side. Um, but this is the Morphe M441. And this one I'm using just to blend out that top um, alert shade. And I'm literally blending it out like above where it's at. So I'm not really touching it too hard where the actual... Sh I don't know really. I don't really know how to fucking explain this, you guys. Like, I feel like I, th I know I know how... What? I feel like I know how to explain it, but then when I start to, I'm like, wait, I don't make sense right now. It's usually my second eye that comes out nicer than the first, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit more over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab some more of that framed shade, very lightly, and just deepen this up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back and grab this Y17 brush and just mix or blend these two. Now I'm going to grab the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm telling you guys this is pretty easy. If I had some shades that just blended out a little bit nicer, it would have probably been easier. Um, but literally that took two shades, nothing crazy. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to go ahead and put this right there. Now I'm going to grab this shit over here. It's called On Camera. And I'm just going to put that right on top. Bum. Okay, so now that I have that on there, it cut out a little bit. So I hope it didn't cut out too much because I looked up and it said it stopped recording. But I'm just going to hope and pray it didn't cut too much out. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and put some glitter primer on and then throw some glitter on. Since I have no nails, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on with um, my finger because I'm not putting on too much glue. I'm literally, or too much um, glitter. I'm literally just trying to put like a little bit on just so that we can make this pop a little bit because you know this is a little bit of a transformation so we want to add some glitter so that we look like a new person you know we look like a glittery goddess so now that that's on there I'm gonna grab this this is from bulk glitter fuck this is from bulk glitters it's called golden tiara so I'm just going to pick up a little bit here, tap that off. I hope I didn't grab too much. Whoops. 
just kind of like sporadically add that around y'all I haven't played with glitter in literally forever so I'm fucking excited now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit to that line up there like I'm grabbing it with the very very tip of my brush and lining up where I cut it that looks good now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and the glue over here is dried out a little bit so I hope it's not I'm getting a lot of fallout, you guys. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I didn't put I didn't put it on over here the same, so great. Fucking great. Okay. Perfect! Awesome! Awesome! Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put on some falsies. I'm using the... I don't know, I got these off Amazon. They come in a two-pack. I'll put the link down below. Um, they co It comes in a two different ones. They're two... It's two different lashes, and my favorite ones are already used up, and I put them in something that I was going to use, and I don't know where the fuck I put that one something that I put the lashes in. So we're going to have to resort to using the second pair of lashes in here, which is, they're a little bit different than the first ones. Anyways, they're both bomb. I'll put the link in the description below. So y'all can like check them out too because these are literally my favorite lashes that I've ever ever used. And every time I wear the the pair below here, everybody, literally everyone asks me where I get them at. Like literally, I get so many compliments on my lashes. Some people even think they're um they're just like volume extensions. Bomb, super bomb. So I definitely recommend y'all check them out. Super bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss these lashes on, and I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, fucking 30 minutes later only. It took me way too long to apply these lashes this time. I think it's because they're new. So every time I put on a new pair of lashes, it takes me forever to like, they need to bend the right way, they need to go on the right way. And I didn't use eyeliner today, so I need to be like extra careful to like put it in the right spot, you know? But anyways, y'all can see these lashes are a bomb as fuck. Like, yeah, I fucking love these lashes and this glitter. Girl! Lately, I've been loving the contour. I fell back in love with my little palette here. I've been using this for like two years. So, you know, it's it's still there. So, and probably because I don't even use it that much anyways. But um, I used it a lot when I first got it. Okay, you know what? Story time's over. See? So it's not like too crazy, you know? Because when we get too crazy, then it, it gets real crazy, you know? I always go crazy on this side. It's always ugly on my left side. I don't know why. I her up here, and I literally just do the little sides of my forehead. Because as you can tell, it's already really fucking small. So I just curve. So I just do it up here. This is hands down my favorite powder I've ever used. I know the Milani one. The Milani one's nice. I think I need to get a shade lighter of the Milani powder that I have. Um, I don't know, but this one's just, like, I'm literally almost done with it. Like, 
and I don't think I've ever completely used a powder before besides the Kat Von D one. That one is definitely bomb, which I do want to get more of because I haven't used that in forever. Um, but yeah, like I usually never hit pan or even use up the whole entire powder, but this is just bomb AF. So I use that and just kind of clean up around up here. Um, for sure up here because the line is always sharp for me up here just because I can't contour too great. So I'll grab the powder and I just kind of blend that little streak out. And then I grab a little bit more. And then I just blend this out right here. So I just, it's kind of like erasing the harsh lines almost, you know. There, we've got it. Okay, oh my god, what the fuck. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and use this blush. This has been my favorite blush for a while now. This is the Tarte one um, in the shade Glisten. And I like it because it's like, it's a really, really pretty shade, but it also has like some little, a little bit of a sparkle to it, so it's not completely matte. Um, yeah, because I, cause I find that it just makes me look glowy, you know, like really... Like, not, you know, I just don't like being completely matte at all, obviously, because I put on highlighter like a biatch. Just put a little bit there, a little bit here, and I like swipe it a little bit, and then I go and pat it to kind of blend it out a little bit. Because I like a good amount of blush, you know, and... We can't be looking like clowns out here, you know? Okay, next. Um, I've been obsessed with these two highlighters. They've definitely made a huge difference on how I transform. So for sure, it's this Desi X Katie collection with Dose of Colors. It's the shade Fuego. Um, this one's like super freaking bomb. And it looks really, really golden, but it's actually really pretty and it's perfect on my skin tones. Um, and then this Laura Mercier one, it is the shade Devotion. And y'all, this one's bomb AF. I really, really love this one. So, I think I'm just gonna, I've never used them both together. I just used one or the other because they're both bomb as fuck. Bomb enough to just use only like one or the other. But, for this video, since you know it's a little bit of a transformation, I'm just gonna go ahead and use both. Because, yeah. And I don't spray my face anymore before my highlight. I just pick up a lot of highlight, you know? Yeah, because if I spray my face first, it's just been getting, it's been getting a little too crazy, a little too cakey, so, you know. So I just go ahead and mix both, pick up a good amount. This one is a little bit harder to pick up, pick up, to pick up, um, but I'm using the Anastasia Highlight Brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add that and see like, oh, immediately. Immediately, we get some glow, bitch. And then I turn my head a little bit and just add also a light layer up here. Little smile so you can get that high point of your cheek. Nice, we love that. We love that. makes a huge difference and then I go and put it on like the very tip right here little bridge of my nose yeah so by the end of the day you look like an oily fucking mess but you know it's okay Um, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to use this shade framed right here. I would point with my pointer finger, but this nail is so ugly, so middle finger it is. Framed right here, and that's the shade I use for my um, crease. And I'm just going to put that really, really close to my waterline. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the shade Alert, this one right here. Blend that out. Just 
just a little bit. Okay, now, now we're done with that. Now we can go ahead and go into the lips. So I've been obsessed with this combo here. Oh my God, it's so bomb. So freaking bomb. So I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner. Um, so I use a liner and I pair it with this lipstick by Dose of Colors and this is the Bear With Me lipstick and both together bomb me up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. So this is how I line my lips. I just line them real nice. I give them a, like, a specific shape. And then I line the very middles of them. And then on the top lip, I give them like a little line going this way, as you can see. Yeah. Just because I feel like it makes them pop a lot when I put this. And I mean, this really covers it, but there's still like that. It creates like a contour for your lips, basically. Like, yeah. Do y'all like me with my little birthmark thing covered or with it showing? Like, does it add character or does it just make me look like that one girl from Shrek? So, I kind of, you know, updated you guys on just what I've been loving recently, but I also kind of gave you guys this, like, transformation here. Y'all should see the picture. The picture in the thumbnail, that's literally me this morning. That was, I literally took that this morning. I was laying in my couch and I was like, what the fuck? This is really a little transformation for us today. I know I didn't use a setting spray. I'm too lazy to get up right now and grab it. But honestly, for the most part, I always forget to use a setting spray anyways. So yeah, I'm like, I haven't been on camera in so long. I don't even know how the fuck to end this or start it or anything but yeah so I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, and I hope you guys continue to watch them. I hope I entertain you. I hope I teach you some things here and there. So yeah, so I hope that's enough to convince you to subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah. So anyways, for the tenth time now, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I had so much fun and I'm so glad to be back. And um, yeah. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned. Turn on those fucking post notifications now so you can know. So that you don't got to see me posting everywhere that I have a new video up, you know? Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Look at my hand. This is what happens when I do my makeup. And this is actually not that bad even. Yeah.